All right, hello. Today in this video, we're gonna be talking about how to generate, um, or rather, sorry, um, clip your XREFs, and uh, we're gonna be talking about it in a 3D context. Um, so uh, it can be a little nuanced. You might be headed in the wrong direction, so hopefully this video is gonna clear that up. Um, so thought number one a lot of people are gonna have is to use um, some sort of sectioning tool. Uh, in my experience, the sectioning tool does not work on um, xrefs and that is the wrong approach so let's talk about the file composition of this this file that we're looking at here so i'll go into an uh, isometric view and we see here that this is um, all a xref now the um, what is not an xref is going to be my piping it's done so um, all the piping that you're seeing right there um, for whatever reason, I need to, I, I would prefer if I could section a portion of this and only view a portion of this. So to do that, I'm going to, you know, the very first step a lot of people are gonna do is they're gonna click on this and try to do, create a clipping boundary. And so when you do that, you then run into an issue where, you know, we follow our prompts at the bottom. I'm gonna make a rectangular uh, clipping plane and, uh, you know, we'll clip it like that. Well, oh, sorry, clip it just like that. Okay, now that looks as though it's working. However, um, I have an infinite vertical portion in my clip plane here. So in order to correct that, what you want to do is you want to launch the X clip command and we're going to modify the clip depth. So just click on my X ref there and then here's this clip depth and I will follow my prompts here. Um, this is my second, third time running this. So um, I'm just going to select distance here and I'm just going to Select like that, turn my orthos, go up in the Z direction a couple feet, click right there, finish the command, and now it's gonna give me, it's gonna clip off that stuff. Now, what it did not clip is going to be um, you know, this piping up here, but that is not part of the actual x -ray. So, uh, more or less, we have accomplished what we would like to accomplish. Um, and, uh, so many questions on that, let me know, but that should help you know what you're trying to do. All right, and to take this step further, what I've actually done here is I've actually drawn a live section. So you can typically get that, that in your um, 3D modeling tools. Uh, so go to modeling here, and, and typically you see the section right here. So I've drawn a section, uh, no matter how you configure it via this drop down menu, um, it is not going to work for you. And, and I'll explain the reason why. Um, well, it depends what program you're working in. So I'm trying to cut out piping. This is plan 3D, and I have live section enabled. And you can see here that my piping on either side is, is still showing. The reason why is this is meant for solids and solids only. So um, AutoCAD does not support the idea of live section cutting um, uh, your models in this context. Um, I'm told that you know maybe um, D view, which I've never really used before. I'm, I'm kind of familiar with it. I've read into it a few times, and I can't seem to spell this correctly. D view um, could possibly help you, uh, as well as um, I think it's just that. Now there is 3D clip as well. I've not really used this, um, but supposedly you're supposed to be able to use this as well. So. Um, it's always like this ISO view here, so I just don't see how any of this is gonna help you. Um, regardless, um, I would conclude that yeah, the really the only the only way you're gonna be able to clip your drawings is to do the XREF clipping, and um, keep your drawings small in their scope, um, and uh, eliminate as much as you can. And um, that way, um, you can you know work with your model. Hope this helps.